you love someone, tell him or her. Forget about the rules or the fear of looking ridiculous. What is truly ridiculous is passing up on an opportunity to tell someone that your heart is invested in him or her. Just because I let you go doesn't mean I wanted to. class. I'll see you later though. Griffin? Griffin, want to eat lunch together? Uh I can't. I gotta go study with John. Maybe some other time? Uh... Oh. Okay. Sorry. <sighs> so she hasn't spoken to you since the trip? Basically. It's been four days. I don't understand what's going on with her. Maybe you did something. Me? I don't think I did. Why don't you just ask her? She's avoiding me. Keep trying. She'll tell you sooner or later. Griffin did this a while back when she was friends with Danny. She just needs time to think sometimes, so she blows you off. Griffin sometimes doesn't realize that she hurts people like this. I get that she needs her own time to think and have her own space, but why can't you just tell me that instead of ignoring me and making me feel bad? Won't know until you ask her. I can't believe it's going to be Christmas in just one week. It's not even snowing. How upsetting. Uh, Griffin? Hmm? Are you okay? I'm fine. Why? I don't know. Usually when we talk about Christmas, you get excited or it usually cheers you up. I know something's going on. <sighs> just a lot on my mind right now. <sighs> okay. Wait, Griffin. I gotta go. I'll see you tomorrow then. What should I do? I just don't know what to do. Somebody tell me what to do. Griffin? Oh, Lynn, hey. Everything okay? Yeah, I'm okay. Griffin, are you lying to me? Lynn. We're friends, aren't we? <sighs> Griffin, we're friends, aren't we? Why aren't you answering me? I've been good to you, Griffin. I thought we were really hitting it off. Did I do something to make you mad? Then tell me! You did nothing wrong. Then why can't you answer me? Listen to me, Lynn. 
You're a great person and stop. Stop what? I know where the speech goes. Lynn, I'm sorry. No, don't. I don't know what I did to you, if I hurt you or if you're going through something, but this isn't Griffin. You've been pushing me away ever since I got close to Styles, and especially after the trip. What happened to you? I just can't be friends with you anymore. Why? What did I do? You didn't do anything. Give me an explanation. I'm not letting you go just like that. I can't. I won't. I can't tell you. So there is a reason. Just leave it at that one. Don't make it harder for me than it already is, okay? Griffin. Griffin. Griffin! she do this to me after everything we've been through why john john would know lynn what happened i need to talk to you it's griffin Wait, what about her? Is she hurt? I don't know. That's what I came to ask you. Me? Well, what would I know? You're her best friend. You know her more than I do. What aren't you telling me? Lynn, if it's what I'm thinking, I can't tell you. Why? I'm sorry. It's not my place to tell. John, I swear. You better tell me right now. Why? What happened out there? She broke off our friendship. I know she wouldn't do that unless she had a good reason. No. No, 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 no. What? What? Damn it! John! We have to go. Right now. Uh, okay? Can, can I help you? Is Griffin here? Sh she's upstairs. She's not here. I'm sorry. She asked me to do everything I can to stop you from changing her mind. This is what she wants. This isn't what she wants. How can you even say that? You don't even know your own daughter's wants and needs. John, these letters, they're for us. Dear Lynn, I know that I hurt you, and I'm sorry for that. What I did, and how I did it, I know that I could have done it differently. I couldn't sit there and lie to your face, so I didn't want to say anything at all. Lynn, you mean so much to me, and you're the best friend that I have ever had in my entire life. I am so, so, so very sorry for hurting you, and for that I will never forgive myself. I didn't want to tell you about leaving because I know that we would have broken apart either way. I didn't want you to change my mind. You deserve so much more in life, Lynn. A better friend, a better best friend. I know that you can never forgive me for something like this. And I'm not asking for your forgiveness. I just want you to be happy, Lynn. Really, really happy. I will always remember you and care for you. Not one day will go by that I don't think about you. This is goodbye, and 
Sincerely, Griffin. I don't want better. I just wanted you. <sighs> Dear John, what can I say really? I'm sorry. You've made me open up to the world again. You made me strong and confident in myself. I haven't seen this part of me in a long time. And I couldn't have done this without you. I stood up to my bullies, and I had a good time while it lasted. I know you supported me in any decision that I make. I know that you would want the best for me. John? And I don't know what is best for me right now. I can't stay at my house and look at my mom be with another man. I can't go back to school and see Danny hurting and then continue to torture me. I can't stand to see you lose your own friends because of me. I want what is best for you. I couldn't tell you this in person because I know as soon as I look into your eyes, I'd cave in. I wouldn't be able to leave you, Lynn and Styles. By the time you get this letter, it'll already be too late. I'll be on a plane to who knows where. But as I'm writing this letter, I already know that I'm starting to regret my decision. There was so much that I wanted to tell you in such little time with you. I just didn't know how to explain it or when to tell you. I didn't know if you'd feel the same, or if you didn't. I'm so sorry for everything that I've put you through. I hope that one day maybe you could forgive me and move on with your life. Please just know that I will always, always care for you, John. I'm sorry. Sincerely, Griffin. Griffin. No, no, what are you doing here? Griffin, for once, please, just let me speak, okay? No, John, don't, please. Griffin, you're the best person that I know. In fact, the best person that I've ever known in my entire life. You're so different from everyone, and just so unique and amazing. You made me realize so much in life, how to appreciate of what I have, and how to help others. You're the one who opened me up, the one who opened my eyes to show me what kind of jerk friends I had. You're pure, caring, and loving. You have friends here who need you, like Lynn and Styles and me. We need you. I need you. You have no idea what kind of impact you have on my life. I can't just let you go. Let me go, John, please. Griffin, I can't. Let you. Please. I can't let you go because I'm in love with you, Griffin. 